And present is Steve Sabona, David Gilbert Keith, M.A. Sweetland, and Greg Franceschi with Alex, uh, I forgot your last name, uh, helping as administrative assistant on the Zoom call. Um, so uh, anybody want to do minutes? Uh, I move we accept the minutes of May something or other, 24th maybe? So. Yeah. But first we need to be recording that. Is anybody willing to record minutes? <laughs> I mean, jumps back. All right, all right, all right, I'll do it. Uh, let's see, minutes. Here we go. All right. So we move, they approve. I go for it too. Uh, MA moves to approve. Any second on that? These are the five, what? What's the date on it? I think it was May 24th, but I'm not absolutely positive. I can try and find it. I have it here. I seem to have misplaced. Yep, 24th. All right. And uh, 24th. Uh, we have a second for approving. Second. I see Steve's hand. So uh, let's vote. I vote we approve. I approve. And I approve. Edward, I guess we'll wait for Greg to. I approve. I approve. Oh, you approve. You approve. Yeah. All right. So unanimous. And the other one. which is June 23rd. Thank you. And I didn't get to that one yet, so I'm not uh, gonna move, but I I'll should vote. Look over, I should look it over my own self, even though I sent it out. Um, yeah, I'll... I'll move that we accept them. All right. We have a move to accept. Anybody else? Second that? Second. Greg, seconds. Any, any discussion on the thing before we actually vote on? Looks good to me. All right, let's <laughs> move the thing. Um, we are voting to approve the minutes as submitted that are for, what's the date on that, six? Uh, the 20, 23rd, 23rd, June 23rd. 22, okay. Uh, Greg, you yep. in? Yep. Okay, unanimous. M-A-I. There. All right, now let's see, second item, green communities. And Lori's not here to tell us about EV stations. Steve, you got any news on EV stations? Uh, vehicle charging? No, I, I, I don't. Um, I, what, what, what was it gonna be? No, there wasn't anything pending. Yeah. I mean, it was just whether there had been any more it's been an ongoing thing about okay. what price to set for the yeah charging. and also the signs and but the, the signs for may right. the signs have been made uh, i don't did, i saw an image of one yeah um, so Lori saw it i i haven't seen them yet so yeah i think she was a little she thought it was kind of a draft and uh oh and, that's right yeah <laughs> And uh, what's his name? From Kevin. 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 Kevin went right out and got them, being efficient and all. So <laughs> there they are. Uh, have do we know if they're up yet? I don't know. I, I haven't. Know. I haven't noticed. I haven't looked. Um, anyway, so basically, no news there. Uh, Shared heat cooling systems of any sort. 
Greg and Steve, I'm looking at you, but MA, you were talking to the library folks too, right? What about, the, what's the question? Uh, in regards to green communities, it's a subsection on shared heat and, and or cooling systems of any sort, which means geothermal or um, I, I, I know nothing. Well, Emma, you, you do. Come on, you know. <laughs> when Laura, what Lily did in applying for a grant for the geothermal and the, the construction of a senior center, or senior housing, I mean, in, housing. Uh, in the ball field, do you, have you seen it, the application? Do you know whether it covers just the geothermal piece or the whole proposal? I think, I think, it, I think the geothermal is one sp small piece, but I have not seen the whole thing. And, it, and we're not gonna hear until September on that, so. Well, anything that we can do that would make it more likely than less to connect all the buildings whether Levy gets her funding or not, because I don't think that she's asking for anything but the senior center at this particular well, the, senior no, housing. No, she's looking at the whole thing. Now, who's looking at this? Lily Dwight. Dwight. Lily Dwight, who's the head of the uh, senior housing committee, whatever it's called. Were you the one that brought it to CCI, MA, or was it Julie, or? I think, I think well, Lily brought it to, Lily included it in her grant and she's we've been talking about the fact that the grant it's in the grant for a couple of months but I don't know I haven't and, seen it. and which it's, grant where is she applying for a grant this is this is re somehow related to uh, senior housing it uh -huh. the um the the she's been talking a lot to the folks who've who've moved forward in Sunderland. And I think it's, you know, that she's following along in their footprints. Do they have a geothermal system also by any chance? No, but just in relation to the grant. Do we have a clue of whether green communities can do anything like that? The green communities might be willing to get involved in, in building it, but not in design or or uh, studies. Okay. But they won't fund that till you've got the no en No engineering, no any of that stuff, but, the, but I, there's a chance, I think there's a much better chance for involving green communities in the actual creation, getting uh -huh. funding for some of that. The but way I understand. Design. But not design and not engineering. But Lily's grant may get it, and it and it is for that whole for all the buildings. Okay. Oh. And uh, the there's certainly the um, new the new bill that Baker needs to sign immediately uh, the uh -huh. new climate bill Massachusetts yeah. climate bill that you know anybody who wants to give his office a call and kick him in the pants is okay with me. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he, it, it has, it has sub, 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 uh, substantial funding, I think, for um, community energy uh, production, like, you know, the kind of thing we're talking about yeah. in our campus. So that, that also is very good news, assuming that it gets passed. But lacking a study with a design that's been put together and you know engineering certification and everything else, we can't really apply for anything in terms of construction. So what can we do with the green community? Well, this this is a huge question because I talked to CCI about, you know, well, what what can we do? And right now we're in kind of a blank spot unless we can get Bill Hildreth to say something. And I I'm guessing, I don't know, at our last meeting, we talked about yeah, somebody, to somebody talk, talking to, to him. him. What, I'm track sorry. Him. What track do you want him to... down. Go ahead, feel free. All right, all right. What do you want from Bill Hildreth? Project uh -huh. ideas. 
Oh, we have uh, he he I spoke with him actually um, a week or so ago. Um, he's on another committee that I'm on, and um, we had talked maybe when the trees were going in. Uh -huh. I talked to him about the solar on the um, at the high school on the roof. And yeah. um, he said that we could set, well, I, I asked if he, you know, if we could set up a meeting sometime to go through and look at the possibility of putting solar on the, on the already diagonal um, roofs on the high school. And he sounded really excited about that possibility. So is that something Problem that- Problem is green communities won't fund solar. Oh. Which so does- I'm really excited ironic. about it too, but we got to get other funding. Will they fund yeah. trees? <laughs> I don't think so. No. I mean, no, this they... is the problem. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's things at the high school, tons of things that at Frontier, once we have, but I don't know at this point whether we have our report in for September or whether our report is ready, is close for September, yeah. which we have to have in and well, sometime in that can get early done. in September hmm? it, that can get done I mean it's not it doesn't take forever right. no but theoretically but it's not done yeah and um and we and any project pretty much any project we had would need engineering it needs an engineering study this that won't make it in time for the October yep. deadline so yep. I think I'm inclined to think that we hold off and wait till spring yeah is there a fall town meeting this year or is there every year a fall yes town there meeting? is a fall town meeting can we get it so, on the warrant that we want money for engineering studies for multiple projects and see which ones um, support or at least in the one. past the grants have covered the studies i'm sorry well, the they may but we've got to have the project the, i mean like well, the, the high school seems like it's it's there. They've got slanted roofs. They're metal roofs, um, and Bill seemed really, you know, interested in the idea. I, I don't so. think that that the town, especially just Deerfield, you, for something like that, you got to get all four towns to kick in. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. And I don't. I know that Deerfield has is up to their ears in projects right now. And if we propose a new project, it would be. Well, the thing is, what, what's different about our proposal from any other you know, one on the table right now is that whatever we propose is going to save the town money. Every right. other project that's on the table is going to cost the town a lot of money yeah. and make them nothing. So I Greg. think I don't Good think luck, that's Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Doing that community uh, heating it has a big advantage, multiple. One is, is uh, energy savings, supposedly like 25% by mixing them and also right. not having every place have its own equipment. So even though you can have multiple uh, units in different places, but you don't have to have as much in there, gives you better redundancy. Right. But that's... Uh -huh. That's Better a view. period of time yes. down down the road. Um, yeah. I haven't heard anything about the the idea of having a joint meeting with the library. Any more about that to see if yeah. we can't get them to at least you know think about having a system that can tie in when when and if this goes forward. Ah, uh, um, that would be yeah, really I'm nice. Sorry, I dropped that, but um, but that I haven't heard. I haven't been at a CCI meeting. This, there should be one coming up in August. Remind, remind me what CCI stands for. It's the community. CCI. Community, the communities communicating with each other. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> CCI is, do you know what it is, Greg? I can't ever remember. Connecting. 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 There it is. Thank you. Communities yeah. connecting initiative. And it, it's the one that has members from every committee. On yeah. It. And I'm I'm your rep. Yeah. Shoot. But well, we're getting a lot of we can't do that. Uh, that's I know. <laughs> um, 
What? I mean, we could we could apply for um, the parking lot street lights at the elementary school. Yeah. Because we could get them to be um, LED. Do they have parking lot street lights already, or is it a whole new system? No, they have. So lights. just converting what they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's not much. I mean, it won't yeah, cost that, much. That wouldn't be any big deal. What no. about the what about the football field? <laughs> yeah, really. That would well, be again, a, I mean, that would be a lot of light. Can, they do. I don't know if LEDs are strong enough, are they? Why wouldn't they be? Uh, <laughs> I think you can get them strong enough. Uh huh. I don't know. I don't know that. Well, at least we wouldn't need an engineering study to apply for those savings, and it would obviously help the town. Yeah. And we can probably get the same folks to do it that did the street lights. Is there a copy of the application um, guidelines that's online somewhere, or do we have for that? Green, for green communities? Yeah, just yeah. go to green DOER green communities. DOER? Well, yeah, just... DOER, um, and then they, you know, as a pull down something or other, they have green communities. They should have, they should have the grant um, parameters on on that on the yeah. green communities website. Okay. Hmm. So and if those, we those, did, I mean, we could try the football field lights. Yeah, I mean, that would be a huge savings. That, that would cost be. a fortune yeah. just to turn those suckers on. Um, of, yeah, would, who does those, Bill? Hildreth? Well, yeah, I mean, we, it, the school, school committee would have to approve it, but he would, you know, if he, if he but, is behind it, it's good. Maybe maybe nope. the first thing we do is get in touch with the whatever his name was, which I because I'm terrible on names, who um, who uh, did our streetlights and just say if find out if it's even possible. Yeah. <laughs> and hmm. I could I can contact him. I still have his contact. What is it, George Woodbury? Something yeah. Like that? Yeah, that's exactly right. What a coincidence! I'll be damned. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I just I thought um, if Bill Hildreth knew what is there, we'd know what we're replacing. You know how much. Right, but I think the initial just I would just text uh, George Woodbury and ask him if they if yeah. if football field lights qualify for LED. Yeah, great. And I will do that. All right, All right. MA will, that's an action item for MA is contact George Woodbury. Um, Greg, you said you were talking to Bill Hildreth. Uh, did he have, did he mention other types of things he might think would be a good idea? Um, no, but um, I'm just wondering in um, the years, I don't know, a couple of years ago, whenever I don't, don't remember whether it was in the last cycle or the one before that it got funding, but we replaced the boiler in the elementary school, right? Right. Yep. Does anyone know what the condition of the one in the high school is? Nope. That's what we were supposed to talk to Bill about three, four months ago when he was going to come to our meeting. <laughs> and I, frankly, I'm, I'm a little reluctant. Uh, we're going to want within less than the lifetime of new gas burners to, to electrify right. the heating there. And, and there were a lot of other things besides replacing the boilers that could be actually almost as a, well at the actually, elementary school we replaced all the uh pumps the the things that the send yeah. the yeah. heat and regulate it 
and but I haven't seen the audit yet. And that's the other thing that that Bill Hildreth has and we haven't seen. Uh, who's oh that that was happening. That's right. Yeah. Oh geez. And this uh, is an audit that uh, an energy audit, is that what you're saying? An energy audit at the high school was done this spring and Bill has it and and we've asked him for it and asked him to come and talk to us about it because that will list some projects yeah. and we haven't seen it yet. And who did, that was an energy audit? Uh, uh, Eversource. It was the, okay. Yeah. Well, we obviously have to find something that is not gonna require an engineering study. Um, well, I, I'd like to see the list and, you know, I mean, if we're going to apply in the spring, then we can be preparing for that now. If we don't, if we don't end up or, you know, whatever. So my, my recollection from the, the work that was done at the elementary school is that um, the building engineer there had connections with various vendors and so on. And one of them provided an energy audit on spec and, and the grant covered reimbursing the en engineering that went into saying, you know, you need to replace LED lights, right. et cetera, et cetera, and ceiling. And so it's conceivable that we don't we don't want to not apply because we don't have the engineering yet if we start the application and say we need an engineering study to to show what we need to do there's a possibility of of getting it included in the grant as a retroactive thing right that that would be excellent so I mean, I think, yeah, we need to talk to Bill. Yeah, sounds like I better track down Bill. He's probably on vacation in Hawaii or something right now. Those building <laughs> engineers, they're Lake, always all over the place. Lakes in you know Canada. That. Uh, but we, we, if we're gonna go, we gotta go now. We gotta find something to yeah. do. And CCI didn't, I asked them, does anybody have anything and sort of explain what was going on? And, you know, every, all the projects that they're looking at are thinking about are too far, too far out, so. Do we know this? I mean, in terms of shared solar, is there a point where things are going to be getting dug up at various buildings or is it all about the, I mean, the geothermal? If it were geothermal shares. Well, it, if, if the um, senior, if senior housing goes in where that baseball field is behind the town hall and the church and everything, if it goes in there, then that's all going to be dug up. Yeah. Completely. And it's, um, but you know, that's, there's a lot of things that have to happen before the digging starts. And if they're considering it, they wouldn't want to have geothermal in the way. No, but it gets, get, it gets put in, yeah. at, in, a, in an appropriate, in, in coordination with, the, with yeah. all of that. And the design that UMass did for the church and the um, 88 building, that's just between those two buildings. Yeah. So once the senior center is designed and everything, it would just be expanded out. It would be just more of the same, just further out into that area. Mm -hmm. And both, neither school is appropriate, the high school or the elementary school for the geothermal. How long a reach can the geothermal have? I mean, could, could it be in that soccer field and then stretch yeah. the frontier? Yeah. And... yeah. Oh, not to frontier. No, no. But neither school is appropriate primarily because of Bloody Brook yeah. and wetlands and trying to go across those areas. And also both of those schools have uh, a huge demand and it's, it's a, it's, 
you know, like they don't operate in the summer at all. And I mean, you know, yeah. it, it, school, schools make that whole process difficult. Yeah. So there's lots of reasons not to have the schools part of it. Yeah. So what would be included? The senior centers, the library, the, maybe? Theoretically, the library, the church, the new town, the 88 building slash new town hall, the police station. And if you wanted to get clever, you mm -hmm. could get Berkshire, Berkshire Brew hooked up to it. The thing about that was, the new I, that was a thought I just had, but they're the type of organization that really kicks, kicks that kind of a geothermal process up. Yeah. Because well, they, yeah. Operate, they operate it completely different way than all the other buildings do and the more variety you have the better it is so you're saying to have them be part of a shared geothermal system in the field it, it just it just occurred to me i it it is not uh, it is not something i know anything about i was just trying to think of something nearby that could be included and i, I and it's, it's a great idea yeah. Berkshire, Berkshire is them. you know they are they, and I'm, I don't, I have no idea whether it's a possibility. They may use way too much electricity or propane, you know, they, or, or natural gas. I, I don't know. I don't I'm know. guessing that a, a bigger concern would be the private public interface. It may not be. If, maybe they could pay for the engineering studies. Maybe they could. No, I mean, it would, you, well, that's really interesting. I mean, I, I just imagine people barking at what if Berkshire Brewing sells or something, then who owns what and stuff. But, um, if they and go what, out of business, then our system gets a lot smaller. Yeah. Um, what is the church going to be? Well, maybe what um, we got to do is treehouse instead. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Maybe we could just run beer at a high temperature. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, what is, is the plan for the church anyway? I haven't been following. At this point in time, what people are mostly talking about is uh, a meeting space. And, yeah. and then depending on funding, it would be either the senior center would be put into that. The senior center is going to be put into that uh, the, the the section the the addition onto the onto the church uh -huh. um it's going to be put in there temporarily anyhow deerfield academy is going to fix it up uh should be done probably by the end of the year so that mm -hmm. the senior center can move into that space uh -huh. and whether and depending on what kind of funding we end up getting that's a project that we're either we build a new building for them at some point which would be wonderful or we don't ever do it and it depends on what kind of funding we can get well the other thing is that they they might go into the town hall the, the present town hall after the shuffle happens down the road with the people in the current town hall moving over to the 1888 building which would mean that the church would be open for hmm. suggestions. Well, the, but, the, but, the, but the sanctuary is gonna be almost guaranteed to be a meeting space for the town. The thing I don't understand is when, you remember the, the visit that Bruce Coldham did where yep. he talked about using the church as senior housing? Yep. We measured it all up and figured out that there could be three floors in the yep. sanctuary. Nobody's interested in that idea. Why? I can't explain people. It just hasn't, it's, it's a lot cheaper to just fix up that building and use it as a meeting space rather than trying to completely redo but, it. But the sanctuary is an unnecessarily, unnecessarily large meeting space. They're not gonna use- No, I mean, it would be, it would like be that. for town meetings. It would be for larger events. It would be rental, you could rent it out. It would be, it, it, the pews would be gone and it would be a, a large space for large, large gatherings. And hopefully, wouldn't it be nice if the, 
library then didn't put in a big meeting, a 80 person meeting space, because yeah. then you wouldn't need that because it's right next door. And you can mm. also make the new town hall not have a great big meeting space, which they have in their plans. And you just have one big meeting space that you could. And you can also oh. put smaller offices in there if the senior center were to get moved. Do you have any idea? I don't, I, don't I personally don't think that the old town hall is worth investing a penny in. Hmm. Why? That's a long story. You got time? Well, yes, I think it's important to discuss it because Kevin Scarborough stated at a meeting that he thought it was, he felt it was pretty much a teardown. And then at the same, at the very same meeting, he later said that, you know, probably it could be used for the senior center if it didn't work out with the seniors at the church or if they needed to move the seniors out of the church and they didn't get funding to build a brand new senior center. So, I mean, which is it? Is it a teardown or is it, you know, a, a I, su I suppose event. I suppose it's both because if we don't get any funding um, at all, then you know it's a last resort for the senior center. I, I'm I'm not sure that the church isn't a better senior center than the town hall, and the reason the reason being is that the town hall has um, would need to be almost entirely rebuilt for a senior center and. The windows are bad. It, it, right now it has to be a hot roof because the roof is not strong enough to support uh, or to, um, you know, to be able to, uh, the, way it, the way it's designed, it, it can't support snow. So the roof would have to be totally replaced. Right now, two by sixes hold up the roof on the two little wings where the offices are uh the the um it, it's two by sixes that are holding up those whole th those roofs and i don't understand why they're still there it was put in those two by sixes were put in 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 the 60s and um it's a miracle that 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 section is even still standing so where uh, where there is a flat roof in that building is the roof is held up by two by sixes. Actually, well, the part, yeah. Wow. And not, and they're real far apart because there's windows in between. So the glass between the glass and the two by sixes, that's pretty much what's holding that part up. So you're you're basically rebuilding that whole space, and the heating system is terrible. Do we have a clue on the timelines for deciding? I mean, the town's going to have to decide well, about think, all these I, things in I coordination. In September, there's, it's, we're likely to hear about the possibility of, of funding for some of these projects. That's sort of when they think they're going to start hearing. I, it would be hmm. great if they were all kind of being coordinated together. But, well, that's what that's what CCI is doing. They're trying to coordinate it, everything yeah. but the library. Yeah. Do you know when um, the results will be announced for the grants that um, the grant that Lily applied for for the um, senior housing? Uh, yeah, that's going to be in September. She thought. And there's a couple of other funding grants that the town has written. Uh, that also would theoretically be uh, would come. We would find out about at least the some information about it also in September. And also, they had a meeting with Jim McGovern, and he was really enthusiastic about our plan. And as you know, whether that really whether anything comes of that or not, but it was a really good meeting, and he said he was going to be in constant touch and also work with Joe Comerford, which we've been trying to do, and also with um, Natalie and trying to, you know, trying to coordinate some funding for our projects. And um, we're, trying, we're trying to sell the projects as, as net zero projects and, um, and, you know, trying to in, get 
get grants as a pilot project for this because it's a pretty unique community design system. The thing about the senior housing um, being thrown into the mix is that when when this was originally suggested um, was about, it had nothing to do with senior housing. It was about connecting the library and the church, the senior center building and the town hall with geothermal in the ball field. The, the difference between having the senior housing in the middle of the ball field and a geothermal system versus having a geothermal system and no senior housing in the ball field is that there's gonna be an enormous amount of pushback about losing that field because the justification, one of the justifications for having to have a park was that we did not have enough playing fields. Mm -hmm. And that's, that was one of the driving things we had to have, because right now kids are having to go to Waitley and be bused and their parents have to drive over and pick them up and back and forth. So that so was, are you saying, go ahead, are David. you saying that the senior housing going into the ball field would make it easier to go ahead with geothermal? Well, if no, they get what he's saying is, is that he doesn't want to lose the ball field. Uh, I don't the care ball, about the ball, ball field. The ball I'm field is going to be moved what? over to um, Braeburn. So Braeburn. there's no access at Braeburn. Yeah, uh, they're working on that. They, they think they have a way to do that. Well, there was, and I don't know what it is. So Greg, wait, Greg. Yeah, I, I need the, the finished thought for the minutes here. Um, <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying that whether Lila gets a grant to do senior housing in the ball field or not, we should still be pursuing geothermal in the ball field. It's a much better location for geothermal than anything else because yeah. It's, if, you put a, if you put a building on top of geothermal, I don't know how you maintain it. I don't know what the variables are there, but they're losing a lot of access to the space. If it was just geothermal, they can still have their ball field and nobody's gonna get riled up about that. And there are other locations where senior housing could theoretically happen, including the church. There's another wow. church about half a block away that's empty and falling apart. You know, yeah. there's, there's definitely, you know, land within walking distance of town. I think in terms of the Braeburn lot, it would make much more sense to have some kind of energy infrastructure there because they don't have access. It's been an issue for 20 years. People have been talking about Braeburn. It's right behind my house. There's no access. There's a little sliver of an access next to Lenny Gribko's place at the end of Braeburn, but it's not enough for two-way traffic and an ambulance. And there's no place else on the street unless somebody you know, has their home taken away by eminent domain where they can get in. Okay. So but that's another- it, it, All of these issues are not our issues. Yeah, They're other yeah. people's issues. Yeah. They're just <laughs> things that we have to wait for because they affect what we want to do. Ah, um, are there other kinds of shared systems other than geothermal? And, and are, are, there, are there more than one kinds of geothermal? Yes. Three kinds. Go ahead, Steve. Well, well I mean, uh, any, um, you, you can share the thermal output of any system. Mm -hmm. and it, and has uh, efficiency. So, uh, um, uh, but mo nowadays, most of the, that they're doing around here is, is the geothermal wells. Yeah. I don't, you know. But I've seen it go where the, the, it's the depth of the well that changes the thermal dynamic. And then there's, there's just uh, horizontal systems that are like 40 or 50 inches down. Yeah, but that, it's so cold here that wouldn't, and it wouldn't make sense unless you're charging it up or something. And depending, uh -huh. it's real. It is uh, 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 the wells, but it's not just the depth. It's also the type of grouting and uh -huh. the, the soil type of soil that you have. So uh -huh. it's how, how it how it's packed. Yeah, that's the engineer's determination right. to figure right. out what's but, what kind of system will work. Well, I'm thinking in terms of space too. Uh, you know, like yeah. you could put. 
a system that's basically a soccer field under the soccer field. Um, and that would be different from a small thing that you could then potentially dig foundations for senior buildings or whatever within. Yeah. If yeah. you just got a well going way down, it's a smaller footprint of the system. Our water table makes going down rather difficult, I think. Whoa. Really? No, I don't. Wa water is a, a pretty good, you know, conductor. So it is. Uh, yeah, somebody said that 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 was an issue, but I don't know. Huh. Well, again, it, not our department. I, I don't have enough information to be able to. Yeah. Understand. Okay. Um, I guess we should probably move on. Uh, one last thing, um, Ma. We were talking about you had approached the library folks and not heard back. Do you want to try again or? or I, I'll talk. To, I, I will. Yes. There's one, um, other, type, there's one yeah. other type of geothermal system, just so it's in everybody's yeah. vocabulary to, you know, whatever, if it comes yeah. up or when it comes up. The um, horizontal system, there's basically uh, a tubular, you know, web type of system, whether, you know, I don't know exactly what the options are in terms of how that's, you know, shaped, but then there's also um, a horizontal system that is done with coils. So uh -huh. you're basically getting more energy, or you're getting more fluid transferring heat in a smaller space because they coil uh, yeah. the, the, whatever you call them, the branches of the tree. Mm -hmm. oh. And the UMass people were suggesting using both of those systems mm -hmm. combined. Right. Uh, let's see. Um, we've already talked about connecting communities. Uh, if only we could. <laughs> and, uh, and anything new on bike routes? I'm beginning to share Greg's frustration on this, but uh, I know that. green communities won't do well. I yeah. asked. I asked. Um, Mark Rubinsky. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. they won't do what? Green communities won't fund bike paths. Oh, surprise, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> and neither will the town of Deerfield, apparently, even though all they really need is a stencil. Yeah. They will. They have the paint. It, it's nice on Sugarloaf Street. I like what the state did. Part of Sugarloaf Street. Yeah, part of it. <laughs> All right. You know, well, I think, yeah. I think we should bring it up again and get a whole bunch of people in the community to show up for the meeting. And we should just try to get the, the smallest possible improvement made. Maybe. South Maine and North Maine. Yeah. Or yeah. North Maine. But it's ridiculous that we don't have some indication of the fact that the road is being shared and should be shared and should be, you know, people should go at a reasonable speed. And that will be a great reminder. If all they need are the pictures of the bicycles in the yeah. already, you know, delineated emergency lane, and somebody needs to sweep the lanes. So that people uh -huh. have a clear path that has to be part of the commitment of the town is to maintain it for bicycle traffic. A lot uh -huh. of people use it already, but way more will. And it's connecting to all these other bike lanes now, which it wasn't in the past. Now it's connected to Sunderland. If we do it through Sugarloaf Street, it's connected to five and 10. If we, you know, want to make it go that far. The obstacle that was brought up at the last meeting we had with the select board was the bridge at the end of North Main Street, but there's no reason why it has to go that far. I mean, mm -hmm. people navigate around problem areas on bike lanes all the time. Yeah. There's no reason yeah. we have to tear the bridge down or add another lane to the bridge to be able to have a bike lane go no, up to the bridge. But, 
But if it went to if it went to Hillside, because then you can go up Hillside and down North Hillside or over to River Road and and take the River Road. So yeah, I which I, is I a think, bike route too. River Road yeah. is a delineated part of the the regional bike system. But it doesn't have bike lanes. But it's part of the bike ways. Right. Now, all the people who live who drive River Road hate bicyclers, so be careful. Yeah. <laughs> not all of them. I take that back. Yeah. Steve Viper does not hate them. <laughs> <laughs> because he's often on a bicycle. <laughs> it's true. Um, well, I guess we're, that's, this is strikeout meeting. Um, I don't have anything new on NextAmp and Landfill Solar. No. Can nope. we stay with bike lands a little bit longer? Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, I, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the thought process is on, you know, among any of the members of the select board about bike lands. All I know is that Kevin told me in a private meeting over three years ago, before I started talking to anybody about bike lanes, maybe it was even four years ago, that all I needed to do was get the select board to tell them where, where they wanted him to put the lines and it was done. And basically he has the paint. That was what he said to me. And turns out the town doesn't paint the lines. They hire, they subcontract it to other people. And now Kevin's got a different story because when we brought it up, he you know, sent a, a, a sample bill of what it would cost for a delineated you know, um, stretch of bike lane, including erasing paint that was previously there, but it was never really explained you know, what those costs were and why any, anything would need to be erased. But that's apparently a really large cost because they have to go out with sandblasters to, um, to get rid of old paint. Yeah. So, I mean, that was never something that I suggested. I suggested that we skip the center of town completely, start at the Leary lot and go to the high school. That was what I was suggesting for phase one. And, you know, because we don't have an answer for phase three, which would integrate it into the rest of the world, mm. they, you know, basically the conversation ended. So I think we should just push for phase one, but get some people to show up for a meeting so that it's understood that it's not just Greg waving a little flag, being a pain in the ass, trying to get bike lanes when it's an irrelevant issue. It's an issue that is really important, especially now that people are starting to use electric bikes. If we exactly. build a decent, safe bike lane, way more people will use bicycles to just go into town and get their groceries, go into town and have a beer, you know, yeah. whatever, get, go for a ride to get exercise. It's a huge difference having a bike lane. I feel so much safer going down Sugarloaf Street now. I feel, oh. you know, like somebody cares about the people on bicycles. So Greg, say again, what uh, the phase one would be Leary Lot to Frontier? Leary Lot to Frontier. Okay. How do, you, how do you do that last little bit? Do you do Conway Street or you go through the over Bloody Brook? It's kind of narrow there, but. I'm not following you. Where? That last little piece right at the high school. How do you, the, the, the chicane there, you know, the, the little twist in the road there. Oh, you mean where it goes into the high school? Well, just before that coming from town. Have it go into the turnaround. And then out the Around other the side, monument. crosswalk to the school. Okay. Well, not at, no, we can't do the school because the school um, is putting in a new parking lot in a year or two. So they, they want, they I did talk to the people at the school and they said they thought it would be a really good idea to have a bike lane that went through the school property, through the uh, parking lot. But yeah. this, but it, it wouldn't make sense to do that until they no. designed and no. built the parking lot. But, but to, to, to the front of the school somewhere, to that side of the road, yeah. I don't... Seems to me that Phase one ought to go to the to to the potential North Main Park because people in town are excited about the North Main Park and stopping and at the high school doesn't make sense. Actually, um, what Steve said about Hillside also makes sense. So Hillside would be the, a better yeah. cutoff because Hillside would give people access to River Road that were up for it, but it would yeah. also include the park. 
I think we, I, I think phase one oughtn't to stop at the high school. Yeah, and then phase two could be the what the rest of North Maine. The rest, the park and and hillside or even south maine i suppose but i don't i don't think there's any need to do south maine because of sugarloaf yeah. okay well greg uh you want to start organizing um yeah when this, well if we have our next meeting um if we could if we could pick a date now to have our meeting with the select board um, maybe after our next energy committee meeting, then uh -huh. um, I could start organizing. Greg, would it be helpful to have, or do we? Do you already have a uh, recommendation from the energy committee? Um, in writing, or in, or or just sent to the selectman or, or select board, or. Is there something that we can do as a committee that would be useful to you? I think showing up at the at the meeting and getting as many people as we can get together who okay. support bike lanes would do the trick. I mean, at this point, what they really need, they don't need a big just fancy design. They just need the will to do it and the stencil. I mean, the, we could, the town, I can't believe that we can't do it ourselves, but if they have to subcontract it, then we need a little bit of money. But when I, I went to the select board and asked them to let me speak to FERCOG, they said, oh, no, 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 that's going to cost money. We have to, we have to think about that. And the, the conclusion was that it was, you know, the, to put, basically they decided to put it off until they knew what they were spending on technical support with FERCOG. And we were not among the people that were, you know, or projects that was put forward to the fur clog for technical support. Because th that's what they do, isn't it? Basically, they show people how to do this stuff. Yeah. I mean, I guess what I should do is ask, in, I bet in Sunderland, what they did, not that I want to do what they did, but what they did would be helpful to know because it, it looks like they didn't really have a very good plan. It looks like somebody just went out there with a stencil and stuck the, the bicyclists in the middle of the road, <laughs> which doesn't really make sense as you're going towards the Millstone Market. But I can't believe that they had a study done and went through you know all the ropes of getting a grant to do you know that small amount of work. Well, do you want to do that? Check with sure. Sunderland on what their process was? Yep. All right. There's an action um, item for you. Should we set the next meeting? Yes. Uh, are we done with other things? Anything else? Aggregation, nothing new. Uh, anything new on the North Main Street? Good. Okay, great. Let's set the next meeting. I know, I know, I do know that it's slowed down because of a suit. Oh. Oh. The which the aggregation or next? No, 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 not aggregation. <laughs> the North Main Park. Oh, oh the, yes. I can imagine what the suit so, is. I don't I don't know what the conversations are. Most of them are in executive session yeah so yeah. um they're trying so it it the north main street park could be in limbo for a period of time okay next meeting alex is nodding his head i think i'm right on that <laughs> uh, uh... Are we going to September or are we doing end of August? August, let's try. In fact, I'd even rather do the 18th than the 25th. I could do the 25th, but it's a little crowded. The 25th is my birthday. I totally, <laughs> really? want, I totally want to do a Zoom. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Just to celebrate. Let's do the 2018. <laughs>
<laughs> um, mine's on the 23rd. You, you're, I'll be older for two days. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, how about the 18th, if takers? Yep. August 18th. Sounds good. Okay. Zoom at five o'clock. Sounds good to me. Um, and we will have answers to everything and move ahead full speed. That's it. All um, right. I move to the adjourn. There you go. MA moves Second. adjourn. Third. Steve seconds. Greg disappears. David. Steve approves. seconded it. I it's saw that. So uh, I think we are hereby, Alex, adjourning our meeting. <laughs>